What's going on guys? Uh, just out the house, uh, getting ready to do an engine swap on these uh, log splitters. Um, yeah, once your engine sits so long, you get the uh, Lovejoy coupler. They tend to get kind of stuck on there. Uh, the rust kind of welds them to the shaft, so I was having a problem uh, getting that off and then um, decided to grab my gear puller and uh, the burns matic and that seemed to uh, get it off pretty easy. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. That way it, it saves you guys um, a little bit of hassle. Um, I don't think these gear pullers are too too expensive. You can find them on Amazon or whatever. So, and you might need it more than once. So I'm going to show you what I did. I I, I pulled the the Lovejoy, and then on the third on the 13 horse motor I ended up using it to pull off the keyway because the keyway was rusted in so I'm going to show you how I did that so basically I took my uh, impact I got my gear puller here I'll set this camera up show you guys I'll put this back on without the keyway to show you. So yeah, what I did was uh, just went in here and just pretty much pulled it like anything else. But instead of using a wrench, I used my uh, impact. You know, I was using this for get it started. Of course, it's not going to work now, but yeah, once you heat it up, you know, find the socket that fits. And then just start. Yeah, just start, uh, you know, reversing it, or actually forward, you know, just start doing that and it'll come right out. But what I did was I heated, just heated this all up, try not to heat the shaft up, but heated this all around, got into here, try to heat it up as much as I can, and uh, yeah, came right off. Make sure your set screw is undone too, make sure it's not locked in there. But yeah, I'm going to throw this in some uh, evaporust along with this keyway. Get as much of this off as I can before I put it on this motor here. And then with this one, you can see this keyway here. It's pretty rusted. Part of it's broke off. So yeah, it was rusted in there. I did the same thing. It's in here like this. And then I just took I just took the top edge of my puller here and went in like that and tried to hold it. Try to hold it steady, like right here, while I'm doing it and it seemed to work. Yeah, I coat everything with PB blaster. Kind of soaked everything, that kind of helped. Yeah, get you one of these gear pullers. Definitely comes in handy. That with a little heat, with a little uh, uh, penetrant will will do the trick. So, yeah, got the 13 horse on the left, the, the 11 horse on the right, and getting ready to do that swap over. Like I said, I was going to do. Like I said, the engine on the uh, that older splitter went out, so I'm just going to put this 11 horse on it and kind of soup it up a little bit. I got a 16 gallon per minute pump coming. So I'm gonna to try to mount this first and then when the pump comes in, hopefully just slap it right on and go. 
So yeah, just a quick video. I wanted to show you guys um, an easy way to pull these off. Um, yeah, at first I just tried wedging things behind it and kept trying to pry it off and it wasn't working. So yeah, these gear pullers, I forgot I had this and went down the basement, got it out and then uh, once I added heat to that, it seemed like it worked pretty good. So, so yeah, I'm going to wire wheel. Try to get as much of this rust off these as I can before I put any low joys back on them or couplers back on them. So, yeah, that's it. Just a short, short video. I wanted to show you guys what I did. Maybe it can help someone out. See ya.